what's going on average tech guy here and today we are back more tech and more reviews and you just picked this phone up and you want to know what you should do first well stay tuned we're going to talk about it So this is the brand new device and many people get it and they want to know exactly where they need to start, especially if they're new to Android, maybe they're coming over from Apple. You want to know what is going to be the best thing for you to know about doing first on this phone. Android and Apple are different. And if you really want to know what you should do first to make your life easier with an Android, first you need to think about ease of use and that is what android is going to offer right up front so as soon as you turn this on you're going to be able to just swipe down anywhere from that notification panel and then pull down again to get your shortcuts for all your notifications and then you're going to be able to get shortcuts for your settings to your phone now by default you're only going to have just a few of these in here but you can scroll over and there are more. You're also met with a plus button so you can actually add different ones. So whatever you don't have already down here, you can just hold it down and drag it into a spot down here, hit done and it programs it. So now it added it to any of your shortcuts. And speaking of shortcuts, um, you actually have a shortcut to your settings right up here. So from your home screen, if you pull down, you have a shortcut to your settings. Takes you directly into those settings. One of the biggest pluses on this device is that 120 hertz refresh rate. So out of the box, it comes already on this device. It's gonna make it real smooth, real easy to scroll. Um, everything flows really fluid. We love that about these types of devices. But did you know that you can make this go a lot faster or a lot more smoothly? So if you come back out to your main settings and you go all the way down to the bottom where it says about phone, if you go to software information and look at build number, once you find the build number, if you tap on it five times, it will enable developer mode. I already have developer mode enabled. So when I come back out, you go to developer options and within developer options, there are some settings and I think they were down towards the end, but there we go. You have window animation scale, you have transition animation scale, and you have animator duration scale. Now these can be set anywhere from being off to 10 times. Automatically they come on number one. So I always drop them down to about 0.5 times. The change in is not really that noticeable because you already have 120 hertz refresh rate, but it does give it a little more snap, a little more pop. And it's just something you can customize to make your Android experience a little more helpful. Now, one of the biggest things about this device is this little screen out here because last year's model was really small, really tiny, but now we got a double tap and you can get animations and different things of that nature. So within this cover screen, it actually has its own setting and we'll talk about that in just a moment. But within this cover screen, you can swipe over to see any of your notifications. You can swipe to the next and you can see music playing, you can get weather, you can get events, you can get alarms, you can get anything that you set up. But the only thing about this is, is you have to actually go in and make sure that all these settings are on. So how do we do that? Well, what we're gonna do is scroll down again and we're gonna go to those quick settings. And once you're in the settings, you're just gonna scroll until you see cover screen. Once you see cover screen, you hit that. You can go in and change your clock style. They have different types in there and you can just browse through these, pick whichever one you like. You can change the color. I kind of like the one with the little animals on it. So that's the one we're keeping. And then you can actually change your widgets. So when you first get this, your widget weather and your alarm, and I think health or maybe today's schedule, those are gonna be off by default, at least mine were. So basically just turn those on and you can even change the order of these, how you wanna see them. If you wanna have today's schedule up top and then you wanna have the weather next, feel free to just reorder it, go in, hit your widgets and come back out. And then once you go to that main screen, all you have to do is double tap on that cover 
and then you scroll over and notice that today's events are first and then the weather is now second. So anything that you need to do and you can see right here on that main screen. Now, one of the other biggest things about this is multitasking. So we love multitasking. And one of the ways we do this is the edge panel. So it's cool that we have the edge panel already in here and I have not edited it. So if you open it, if you swipe over from the edge panel, it brings up this whole list of applications that you can put over here to get on the go. So let's say I want apps over here. I'm going to put messenger. Over here, I'm gonna put PayPal, which I use a lot over here. Um, what else? Um, YouTube Music, I'm gonna put it right over here, as well as YouTube Studio, I'm gonna put it right over there. So what is really nice about this is you can actually put pairs of applications over here. So right now I have YouTube premium right there as well as internet right here so let's go we got google and we got youtube up top we got internet down bottom and like i said if you want to actually put this over there once you have two applications open you hit the three dots in the middle and then you hit this button it changes them into an app pair and it puts them in there let me just show you how that's going to work one more time we're going to do a fresh app pair so we come out of here and let's say we want our gallery. We'll do a split screen and we'll choose another application for our gallery because we may need to send um, a message using our gallery. So we want to make this an app pair. Hit that, changes it to an app pair. You come out, scroll over, and there's your app pair down there, gallery and messenger. If you ever need to get rid of that app pair, all you do is hit the three lines, go to edit, and then you can delete it from right there on the side. So really easy to use, really convenient. And if you want to change any of those settings that are in here, once you open the edge screen, there's a little settings menu right down here hit the settings menu and it allows you to go in and customize those panels the way you would like. And once you come back out of there, you can either toggle this to be on or off. You can change the handle. You can change the size. You can change the color. You can change the transparency, all those good things. You can change the position from right to left. Um, whatever you want to do, whatever suits you, that's going to be up to you. But those settings are right there and they're going to help you out a whole lot. And last but not least, we want to make sure that we know how to optimize this device for the best power and best usage. So once you come down in your settings, once again, you're going to drop down to battery and device care. It's going to constantly monitor what's going on on your device. And once you need to take care of it, you hit optimize. It runs a check and then it will take care of anything that's going on on your device. Hit done and you're all good. So from that point, it's gonna get you the best battery life, it's gonna get you the best storage, it's gonna get you the best everything. It actually checks for viruses and everything. So I think that's something that you guys really need to know about. So if this was of any help to you, be sure and hit that thumbs up button. Um, I know it's not a lot, like you can do a lot with this phone and there are a lot of things that we can go over. And if you want me to make this into a series, like a part one, two, part three, just showing you what you can do and what you should do when you get one of these phones, be sure and drop a comment down below. I will gladly put together as many videos as I can, as long as we're getting views on them um, and it's helping people, I will gladly put together as many videos. So there's a few things that you can actually do when you first get this device. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and continue to give me that big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.